What's up guys, in today's video I'm doing an unboxing and a review for this heated jacket for my hood. They were nice enough to send it to me. I can't wait to show you guys what it can do. Let's get after it. My name is Matt and I live for moments like these. Guys, I killed the biggest buck of my life this morning. I'm far from an expert, but using persistence and a little bit of luck, I'm able to make some pretty cool things happen. I do my best to capture the entire harvest, the kill, the prep, and my favorite part, the meal. Because to me, it's more than a hunt. It's man versus deer. He is a mass monster, holy cow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out a man versus deer video. I put out a lot of hunting content. Specifically, I love to put out catch, clean, cook style hunt videos. If you're into that sort of thing, make sure you smack that subscribe button and definitely turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss any new videos. So today's video is actually going to be like an unboxing review style video for this iHood heated jacket. Really, really excited about this. This company reached out to me, asked if I would be interested in doing a video for them in exchange for a free product. And this looked like something I would actually use in the woods. So I said, yes, we're gonna dive right into this video. I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what we've got to work with. All right, guys, let's do the unboxing part of this video. This is the carrying case that this thing shipped in. So besides the shipping packaging, this is exactly how it looks when you take it out of the shipping packaging and this is what you have to work with. So. It's got a neat little carrying case with the iHUD logo right on it. Carrying case does have a pocket up front and uh, it's got a nice handle right here. Um, we're gonna open this up and besides the jacket, I'm gonna show you guys what else this thing comes with. So, when you open it up, you get a owner's manual with some kind of QR code on the back. It's like a quick start guide, I think. And I'm gonna set this down here. You obviously get the jacket itself, which I'll put on and talk a little bit more about here in a second. You get a 14,400 milliamp power pack and it's got a cable with it. You get a brick so that you can charge the power pack. And then here is the inside of the carrying case. So now I'm gonna throw this jacket on and then we'll get into some of the features here in just a second. All right guys, so this is the men's 12 volt heated jacket from iHood. This thing retails at $169.99 via Amazon. I will have a purchase link in the description for you guys to click and check that out. If you decide to purchase this or anything else and you click on that link before you do that, it does help me out quite a bit and I do appreciate all your guys' support. Okay, so this jacket is actually heated using three different areas. You've got a front section right here or a belly section, you've got a back and a waist section, and then you've got a collar section. Of those three sections, there's an uh, individual unit here, an individual unit here. There's two on the sides and one on the back, and then you've got one on the collar. So it's got three different heating areas, but six different individual heating units. So it disperses that heat out pretty evenly across the midsection, and that's probably gonna keep you pretty warm. This jacket is waterproof and windproof. It's got a pretty sturdy feeling outer shell that's gonna tread water and really do a good job stopping wind, it feels like. And this thing is machine washable which I thought was pretty cool. The heating elements of this jacket actually run off of that power pack that I took out of the pack earlier, that 14,400 milliamp power pack. Um, this thing can last up to 12 hours on the right settings. If you have everything turned on, you're gonna get about seven hours out of the low setting, five hours out of the medium setting, and about 3.5 out of the high setting. Now, that's with everything on. You can actually take and turn individual components of this jacket on, which I'll talk more about a little bit later in the video. This jacket actually features 12 individual pockets. You have two on each sleeve, you have two on each side, and then you've got two different pockets on each side of the inside for a total of 12 pockets that you can use. All right, so now I wanna walk you guys through the steps of how to actually use this jacket. First thing you're gonna need is your power pack, and it's gonna need to be charged up before it can give the heating elements on this jacket power. You do that by using the brick and the cable provided. It's got a USB-C, plugs right into the charger, and then you plug this into the wall, then you wait a couple hours, and this thing will be charged up. You can tell how much of a charge it has. There's a little button on the side here, and you can hit it, and there's a light that will pop up and tell you the level of charge that this thing has. I use this jacket for about two solid hours on the highest setting, and it's still at 80%. So 
the battery life on this thing is going to be pretty good. But so to actually put this thing in the jacket and get the jacket to start heating up, here's what you need to do. On the left hand side of the jacket, on the lowest inside pocket, you can reach into that pocket and there's going to be a USB cord. You plug the power pack into that USB cord, tuck the power pack back into that pocket, zip it up, and you're basically ready to go. There's a little eye hood patch on the left hand side of the jacket and you can press and hold any of the heating element buttons, which are the top three, to turn it on. So if I press and hold the first one, you'll see a color change on the uh, tab right here, and that means it's on. I can do the same thing to the second one. I can do the same thing to the third one. And now they're all on. Now, if I don't want this light to show in public, there's a white switch at the very bottom I can hit that turns the light off but leaves the jacket on. And I can already feel the jacket heating up pretty good. Now, I'm going to turn the light back on. Red is the highest setting. If I tap this again, it's going to go to white. Now I'm going to tap the second one twice. I'm going to tap the third one twice. Now I'm on the white setting. The white setting is the lowest heat setting. And I'm going to tap it again for blue. I'm going to tap the second one for blue. I'm going to tap the third one for blue. Now I can tell that all of these are on the medium setting. So I'm going to push and hold all of these to get them back to red again. And I was saying earlier that you could kind of mix and match some of this stuff. So you've got the waist heating element, you've got the back and the side heating element, and then you've got the collar. Well, most people aren't going to use the collar, I don't think. So you can actually take the collar, which is the first one, and you can press and hold it for three seconds, and it's going to go off. And now I'm only utilizing the other two heat settings. If I want to go down to only the back or only the front, I can press and hold whichever one that I want to turn on or off and it's going to go off too. And now I've only got one heating element active. To bring the other ones back online, you just press and hold for about three seconds, and they'll come back online too, and now everything is going again. So, if I wanted to get the absolute max power out of the jacket, I could put it on a low setting, and I could only use one element. I'm probably going to get close to 12 hours. If I have everything on and everything that's in red, it's only going to last for about 3.5. So you can kind of play around with that and get a bunch of different outcomes based on the buttons that you select. When you're done with everything, you just press and hold them to turn them off. And then you would pull the power pack back out of the jacket and recharge it for later use. But that is basically how you use the jacket in a nutshell. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, very good design. All right, guys, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this jacket. Um, the only thing I would change if it were me designing it is I would get rid of the pockets on the sleeves, not something I would personally ever use. And then I can, if I bend my elbows, I can feel the pockets on there ever so slightly. That's just me being nitpicky. That is definitely not a deal breaker. I still think this thing is a really solid product. Uh, what I really like about it is that even if you took the heating element aspect out of it, I still think it looks nice. It's something that I would wear into public. It's got that North Face modern look to it, and it's something that I would wear even if it wasn't a heated jacket. And it's hard for me to find a jacket that actually fits me well. I'm a medium, and this thing is, it really kind of hugs my, my physique, and uh, it has a, a really nice look and feel to it. So that was probably my favorite part about the jacket. And then the heating thing is just a bonus. So I definitely would recommend this if you're in the market for something like that. And I do have purchase links in the description. If you click on them and you decide to buy this or anything else on Amazon, that does help me out quite a bit. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that it was educational. I hope that it was informative. I hope you found what you were looking for, but more than anything, I hope that it made you wanna come back and watch another man versus deer video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check this one out. I wanna wish you good luck next time you're in the woods and God bless.